Hi everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming to you with a, a, a diamond painting with me video, and I'm hoping you like this. I'm starting a brand new diamond painting, and I am so excited because I'm hoping this is better than the last one. The last one would not, the drills would not go down for me, stay down for me, I should say. And I'm hoping this one will make up for all the frustration I had on the other one that I had to unfortunately stop doing. So let's look at the diamond painting first because it is gorgeous. First, this canvas is 90 centimeters long, three feet, you guys. I am loving it. It says 90 by 30, so it's a foot down as well, and it's three feet across. I am so excited. Um, so anyways, yeah, so it starts with the Blue Jay on this end, and it goes along. This is your Morning Dove. This is the um, uh, Cardinal. This looks like the female cardinal, if I believe. Um, and I forget the other ones here. I know them to see them. I think it's a chickadee over in the... Well, that... Yeah, I forget their names, but I see them in my backyard. So that's why I chose this picture is because it reminds me of my backyard, which we love. So I'm going to move my thing over here my uh thing because i want to start on this end um so i think what we'll do now this is a round i am not really normally a round person well i'm round but for other reasons um i'm not normally a round person so it is um Kind of different for uh, for me because I haven't done a round since probably my first one. So, yeah, it's going to be fun to not have to line things up. But that's one of the joys of doing uh, square as well. So, um, let's see if we can cut this. I'm just going to get my... Get my... Um, I've got a little kind of... Um, got one of these bags and holds all my goodies and I don't know if this will cut this or not but I'll see this is a ceramic um, pen cutter it cuts the other ones very very well so I'm going to see if this will cut this one because I work in little blocks and then Let's see if that worked. Even if it partially worked, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, no, it's not gonna, because this is plastic where the other one is kind of a, a paper. So I don't have great expectations for it to work. No, it does not. I am going to be right back, you guys, and we'll get some paper, um, some pa um, some scissors here. Sorry about that. I, uh, if it's the paper that overlays, but since this is plastic, it won't. Uh... So once I get this up, I I'll do a square here. It did cut a little bit of it. Yes, it did. Oh, it cut it. It did cut it. Good. But this part's still there. Yeah, all right. Now, I throw this away because I use parchment paper from here on out to cover it back up. I keep the original cover on. Um, I keep the original cover on um, while I'm doing it, but... When I'm covering it, it's my parchment paper. So let's 
this up. I do not have things that hold my things. I might have to get some heavier things in here because this is hanging quite a bit off my the side of my thing. But here we go. I'm going to start with this green down here, greenery, and work my way up and then go across. Now, keep in mind, I have a very bad arthritis in my hands, tendonitis in my hands, stuff like that. So I take a long time to do my diamond paintings. Um, so yeah, it, I just want you to be aware of that in case you want to just follow along a little bit. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do it like the whole time that I do my diamond paintings, um, because I don't want to bore you as, as I'm going through, because I want to be able to talk to you guys. But if I have nothing to talk about, <laughs> it's uh, a little difficult. All right. So this is a pen that I got from AliExpress. I love it. But I had to modify it. The thing broke off, so I had to get, like, I had to put a thing in there and modify it. Then I wanted my three hole, my three uh, um, placer on this end, and it didn't have it. I forget what it had. So I modified it. So I like it. It's a nice grip and everything. So that's why. So let's see. We're doing H. Let's do H first. So number 11. Oh, I could go through before we start how I do my kit. Um, yeah, that would be good for our first, uh, for our first video. Oh, and I, if you do not have large, these extra large, um, um, trays, wow, wow, you're missing out big time. You can see the difference between the size, of course, um, and they just hold so much more and you can shake them so much better and not have the fallout. So anyways, so what I do with my kit in this particular one, for instance, I got ahead of myself with the scissors and everything for this particular one, I, I didn't, they only put the um they only put the legend on both sides of the um canvas they did not give me a paper sheet to go by i i'd rather that also they sent plastic um bags and the bags were the only thing numbered so you couldn't cross reference okay so this is 310 the the dmc is 310 right and if you're new here um, and new to diamond painting, the DMC is um, is the it, majority of um, uh, diamond painting manufacturers follow the same um, color coding for their colors. So a three ten here would go with a 310 on another canvas, for instance. I have a lot of 310s. They're, I think they're black or something like that or close to. So I have a few of those that I, and I, what I do is I separate my circles and my squares and I have them all in a, actually I can show you here. So these are my square, all my square um, ones that are no longer using on the current project. So you can see where I have the number down below and I have them on a binder ring. I just poke a hole in the top. And when I say I need extra 890 on another project, they sent me too little or something like this. I have not had that happen before. Well, these are these are nine. Uh, I'll just come in here, find the eight nine zero, and be able to use some of those, and it's the same colors. 
Why do I have ex because companies number one they send you extras. Number two, um, I've had. Uh, I have purchased, in order to get a green that I want, I have purchased another diamond painting. And so these are all the gain, uh, greens to that small little diamond painting I purchased for like one color of green. Believe it or not, it was cheaper than buying the color. You can also go on and buy the colors individually. If you want, to, If you know, say you want extra of the 3024 well, you can go on Alley and they, you can find the two three zero two fours, and stuff like that. So, anyways, my legends here. So I wish instead of just the one, they would have had the cross reference to either the symbol that that's here or the DMC number. But what I've done is I go through and I start with. One, so I put one, three ten, which is my DMC number, and then what letter or number or symbol it is, right at the end, so that when I see H in this case, I find H. H is eleven, and I always have these in, in um, numerical order. And this tray is perfect. I always put them, um, I always transfer my my drills into these Ziploc bags, small Ziploc bags. So number 11, green, and there we have 8.95. So yeah, I've got the right one. And then we pour it in the tray. So let's do H just for fun. I don't know what time we're running here. Oh, 12 minutes. We'll do H just for fun. So I have this board. I think a lot of people that do um, diamond paintings have it. It's just to see your symbols easier. It's That's all it is. Um, so we're going to try to cover it so it's not in your way. And then we're going to see hope hope against all hope um that these go down easily and stick mario and i are really big into birds um birds and cats the, those are actually any animal but birds and cats are at the top but out in our backyard it is crazy the amount of animals so shake it all about all right get my sleeves up so i haven't done a circle one it's so long it's so weird and it's it's um so that i don't have to like be right particular about them now, what I like the square about is that it's more um, detailed. So, so I am. What I do first is try to go around the square. Like I do try to do the outside um, and then move into the inside. So I try to get it cornered off here. That's the thing with this paper. I can't see where I'm this um, clear uh, stuff on top. I can't see where I'm now. Some people put the um, washi tape on the sides. I do not. I don't find my sides get that bad, but I also cover like anything that's exposed gets covered by my parchment paper. I just get used to doing these here. 
should probably, this is my little thing that has my wax in it. And I always have another drill that I push that into and that takes the excess, the excess uh, wax off rather than it going on my painting. Hoping that I like this diamond painting because I was so frustrated with the other one and it it would be so beautiful finished. It was a map of the world with all these different colors and things like that and oh, I was in love. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more and I'm going to start picking up with three. I think, I forget if I can do this on the, <laughs> like I said, I think I only did one of the round. So, um, how I keep my things from not being too staticky is I always put a piece of bounce sheet in with them when I'm doing my kit up. I need more wax for that too. All right. Let's try this again. Yeah, like I said, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know if this, well, I don't know if the three piece works well with the round. I forget. I forget. Oh, it does all right. I find I cannot go past three. I find I cannot get my my drills to get it to go straight enough if I'm doing if I'm doing um, more than three so I just don't I stick with doing three at once and that's it can you guys see I hope you can see let me push this up can you see a little bit better? I think so. Hope my light isn't getting getting you to uh yeah, I think it's gonna do well with the three. I would do it like by uh, by one if um I didn't have the three option. I wouldn't mind that because I work on them so slow that um It's not, uh, not a big deal for me. <laughs> I don't know why I can't get it to stay. Please. Ah, oh, we'll flip it over. We'll flip. I'll get better at it, you guys. And I like that the um, symbols on this, like there's not black circles around the symbols. I've had um, diamond paintings where, uh, like my first diamond painting that I did, um, which was a circle, you could see all the lines of the circles. And I was lucky it was a black, uh, a black um, piece, like a darker piece. I don't know why I cannot make this happen tonight, you guys. But I have to do my threes because 
That's one, my favorite way of doing it. Um, so anyways, I'm lucky it was dark, so I don't have to worry too much about people seeing them too much, but But, uh, yeah. So what are you guys up to? I would love to hear down below what you guys are working on right now. Are you doing craft videos? Are you doing diamond paintings? Are you watching this while you, while you are on Facebook? Or Tell me what you're up to. Tell me what you're doing. I want to know. I, uh... I, I, I haven't gotten the guts up yet to do a live video, and I don't think I could keep up anyways um, with people just think so much faster than I do that I don't think I could keep it up. This glue seems to be holding it better. Like, the stuff doesn't, don't seem to be wanting to pop off as soon as I put them down, like my previous one. Which makes me happy. Yeah, it's weird going back to the things. So us tonight, we had fantastic spaghetti at supper that Mario makes. And nothing special. We don't, like, make our own stuff or anything. Um, but it is very good anyways. And... Um, I made a video on my hashtag smash my craft room update so I'm going to post that this evening and um, post this this evening if I can I'm gonna watch through it and I just watched through them to see if everything's okay what do you guys see what you're supposed to see um, uh, do, is there too much background noise? Stuff like that. Various things will get me to delete a video without posting. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, but it looks pretty good to the beginning. But I have a weird cam camera angle for this. Um, you're kind of off to the side on another, I, uh, like on another P, uh, um, bookcase kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and, um, set up my actual camera and see if that is an easier way to do it. What time are we at here? 23, not bad. Not bad. These do not look like they are, like, um, they look almost flat on top, believe it or not. See what I mean? I don't know if you guys can see it. But they don't seem to glitter on top. They just seem to be smooth. No big deal. It's, um, it's, they're definitely shiny enough. They're just not glittery. Um, I will, what I'll do is I will, um, what I'll do is I will have it, see, and when it's sealed, I'll, I, I have a very good sealer that's, makes things a lot more 
shiny, so that will help. Okay. There he is out listening to music. He would not let me do the dishes. I started the dishes, but he came and shut shut the faucet off on me. <laughs> I said, I can do the dishes. <laughs> but he worries about me all the time. Worries about how I'm feeling. I get it. I worry about him all the time, so I get it. I understand. Oh, don't feel those. I shall understand. Yeah, I find the uh, circles are easier, but um, I couldn't find the square, anything in square that I enjoyed, um, but, the, and it's not like I, I don't like the um, circle ones, I just like the definition of the squares, but this one seems to be very well done defined from what I'm looking at right now but we and I enjoy them just as much because it just kind of I kind of zone out so um what else is going on I was able to go out for the first time this season. I was able to go out and sit in my swing. We have a swing that we have. It hangs off of um, some beams. And, and so my um, landlord's balcony up top, it's in the, it, it hangs off of those beams, those I think they've got like their support beams. So I was able to get out and actually swing a bit today. I was so happy. I um, swung a bit. Did that up there. And what else? Oh, I, I'm just, um, I think I'm going to do like, I'm going to think I'm going to peel this and, and put just my parchment paper over it because I can't see where, so I'm trying to put stuff there and yeah. And I usually try to stay within, within the piece that I cut. So this one, <laughs> So I, I I tried to put it on. Tried to put it on the uh, plastic. Bobby Joe, the plastic. And, uh, yeah, so I've been working on a album, a paper album, so I am looking forward to showing people that when I'm done. And then I'm going to be doing a tutorial here soon.
Sorry, I'm boring you guys, but I get into it. But you guys understand because you do the same thing, likely. <laughs> Just get zoned out. That's what it's here for, right? All right, I'm going to... I think I'm going to cut a little bit more off here because, well, no, I'm just going to push that up because I'd like to get this part of the H's done anyways. So just the where that um, branch comes down. Mario's listening to music out there. Do you guys listen to music when you're doing this? I usually head for videos or usually my book, like an audio book. It's my preference anyways. What kind of music do you guys like? I like a lot. <laughs> I like every, like um everything from Metallica to oh I don't Metallica to well the seventies I'm stuck in. I love seventies music. I love it. Um, I listen to like alternative. Um, I listen to like Jack White, um, Jane, Jamie Ann Commons. Um, yeah, I, I'm all over the place. I am not into um, the current country, but I'm into old country. So you put some Patsy Cline on. Oh, man. I'm all about my Patsy. I will croon to that all day. All right. So we'll bring this back so we're under that. This is the thing. I get the thinking that I'm going to do very little and then... And then I regret it, so I have to be careful not to do too much. But um, Mario's listening to 70s right there now. I believe he's listening to, um, oh, um, Hendrix right now. But he just, he just lets it play. He, like, he chooses... Um, chooses one on on uh one on youtube and then he just lets it play after that one me i have all these like um things set up for different types depending on what kind of mood i'm in so mario likes pretty much the same things i like but he does not like heavy metal does not like rap. Um, he likes the K-pop. I I can't get into K-pop, but uh, he's not into. He likes Jack White's music, but hates his singing. <laughs> so <laughs> we have differences. But when it's the seventies, we're hooked. So. It's not like we can't find something. And um, it's good because Mario's like 14 years older than I am. So you would think that our music choices would be a little bit different. But no. He, uh, he found somebody that was stuck in the 70s all right 
So I'm going to leave it at that tonight and we'll do more here when um, I come back. I'm going to try to do this with you on a regular basis. So if you're interested, if you're not interested, well, thank you for stopping by anyways. I really appreciate it. But um, yeah, if you are, please, you know, just um, subscribe and I will do these videos on a regular basis. What I'm doing now is I plan on probably taking, doing the H like down here um, next time. So instead of putting the H away, I usually just throw this into the tray and leave it so that uh, I know which one it is. So yeah, thank you for stopping by you guys and take care and uh, we'll see you next time.